Have you ever looked at different decisions that you've made in your life and thought, wow, <laughs> that took courage? It's one of my favorite reflections. I'm Jill Foster at Live Your Talk, or also Jill Foster on Twitter, and I want to welcome you to the series Deciding Courage, where we talk about stories of life decisions and the courage behind them to make us effective. And I'm here with a courageous author, right? A new author, is that right? Voice Matters? Yes? yes, Gwen McKinney. I just put her on the spot a little bit. She's fantastic. And Gwen, would you do yourself justice and introduce yourself, please? Hi, Jill. Hi there. I am Gwen McKinney. Yes. I'm the president, founder, and CEO of McKinney and Associates. What we do is public relations with a conscience. I s s kind of flinched a little when you said a new author because <gasps> what we have produced is a book and it's an anthology. So uh -huh. it's not my book. It belongs to every author and ultimately to every user. Oh, thank you for calling me on that. That is such a great point to honor the larger picture. Gwen, I have a question for you. What is a decision, either in your life or in another life that you've observed, that you thought that decision was a courageous decision? Well, I'm going to answer you in another way. Great. It's plural. Ooh. I think every, maybe not every day, sure. but regularly. Mm. Make decisions that require courage when you don't even know it. And sometimes, courage is the kind of thing you don't know it's happening when it happens because what you're doing is summoning a resolve that's within you. And if you had time to think about it, it that wouldn't be courage. Mm. That would be contemplation. The way I come back at that is that the things that I have done most that to me were courageous is acknowledging and owning a mistake. And it requires courage because you're not always sure how the audience oh. will respond. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. time, every time, Jill, mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. found that the audience responds well. Gwen, are you thinking of any type of audience? Could it be a one-on-one -on -one audience in terms of a relationship building or a, a more public every audience? What's coming audience, to your mind? Every mm. audience. Every mm. audience. Mm. People, if they're people, if they're Martians, maybe it's something else. We'll have to figure that out. <laughs> but if they are people, humans, it's a facet of the human dynamic. Mm, that's so and great. so ultimately, the ability to say you're wrong my bad, fall on your sword, that requires courage.